Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how to make a Gary's Mod beta server and how to forward your ports. So, first things first, we're going to download um, the Gary's Mod server so you can run it. So, first thing you want to do is go to srcds.com and then we're going to click on this. On and Since I was running on Windows, I click on the Windows one. It's going to take you to this page and then I'm going to click on the hyperlink. It says from the Valve web server. So I'm going to click on that, and I'm already downloading that, or downloaded that, so I don't need to. And then I just dragged it to my desktop. Um, just make a SRCDS folder wherever you want. Mine's going to, for the video purpose, be right here for right now on my desktop. So we're going to double click on the, the Half-Life dedicated server update tool. Alright, so we're going to click next, click agree, and we're going to browse to where the folder that we just created is, and mine is already there, so. And then we click next, 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 uncheck read me, click finish. And then it's going to look exactly like this. So we're going to right click on the tool, click create shortcut, we're going to right click and click properties. And this is where we want to be, so. Um, I'm gonna have these commands in the description below the video so um, what you want to do is go into the target you want to press space and then click or do control V or paste whatever you want to do now what I usually do is um, for the directory right here I'm just gonna change it to where I have um, the half-life update tool right here so I'm gonna copy the directory that's right here and just overwrite all this click apply and we're gonna open this and this is gonna download all the server files that you need to run the server now this is gonna take a while it's gonna t it can take up from five minutes to three to two hours depending on your internet connection that's all that matters now at first it's gonna go missing files, missing files for it's gonna do that for like maybe a minute, but then it's gonna start downloading the files, so it's gonna take a while too. So I already have all of it downloaded, so I'm gonna go up to the folder where mine is, but it's gonna look exactly the same. So it's gonna look just like this. Now what you wanna do is go in the orange box, and then we're gonna right click on it in the blank area, click go to new go to text document double click on that and we're gonna copy the second command that's here and I usually go echo off and then just paste that now it's gonna say plus host name you can change this this will change the server name and then this is the port it's gonna run on how many players it's gonna be and you wanna make sure you have the co the dash console so you don't get the weird GUI that it usually comes up with so we're gonna just um, go to save as we're gonna go run server dot bat you wanna make sure it's a bat file so we're gonna close this and then what you wanna do is double click on this and now it's just gonna sit here we don't need that and we're just gonna sit here so what you want to do is just type in the name of the map that you're going to do. So it's going to be GM construct. Hmm. Okay, yeah, you got to type in map and then GM construct. Sorry about that. And then it's going to load. And now once it says VAC secured, now your server is up. See, now it goes on map GM construct. Um, and now I got to show you how to forward your ports. So first things first, what we're going to do is go to the command prompt. All right. And then we're going to type in IP config. All right. So you want to scroll up and you want to look where it says default gateway. This is going to be the IP to access your router so I'm gonna go in mine alright I'm on a Belkin um, everyone else's is gonna look a lot different so alright and then this um, this is the login 
um, if you don't know the password ask a family member if they changed it or mine's just blank because it's default we haven't d changed it yet so um, and then you want to go to where either it's going to go virtual servers or it's going to be like port forward but mine's virtual so servers and then it's going to look something like this and you can just name it whatever just name it uh um gmod beta all right and then we're going to go back here because we need to know the ipv4 address all right the ipv4 address it's going to mine's 192.168.2.25 and we need that for the private port address that we have right here. This is so it's it knows that your computer is port forwarding instead of a different computer that's in your household. And so and the ports that you want to forward is um either between two seven zero one five to uh two seven zero one six. And that's gonna both be T C P and U D P. I just usually do both. And then we're just going to go and click apply changes. And then after that's done, you want to restart your server and it's going to be online. If um, you guys have any problems, let me know. Um, ask questions. Uh, give me video suggestions and I'll get right on it. Alright, thank you for watching the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and take it easy. And one thing I forgot to mention is um, for your friends to join the server, they need to connect to your IP. So if they're trying to find your IP, what you want to do is just go, what is my IP on just Google? And just let it load. Hold on. And then it's going to show your IP right on Google right there. And, but mine's blurred out so you guys can't see mine. Alright. Um, hope this helped. Like I said just a few seconds ago. Comment, subscribe, like. And just let me know if you guys need help on anything. I'll just make a tutorial on it. Thank you. And have a good day.